In this video, we will discuss about the ribosomal profiling in somewhat in details. In the previous video, we have just covered the ribosome profiling on the as one of the part of the translatome. So in this video, we will discuss how this ribosomal profiling is been carried out and uh, how it is different from the usual mRNA sequencing. So, so let us start with the cells uh, for which we need to do the ribosomal profiling. So what we do is first uh, we will isolate the translating ribosome and the mRNA that are not being binds to the ribosome as it is shown in the figure after the lysis of the cells obviously and after that what we will do with the ribosomal profiling is to treat the uh, treat this uh, ribosome bind to the mRNA with nucleus treatment so that the unprotected region of the mRNA will be cleaved off or we can say the untranslated region of the ribosomal uh, of this uh, untranslated region of the mRNA that is bind to the ribosomal will be cleaved off or will be uh, degraded with the help of nucleases treatment. We will use or uh, the process will use the non specific nucleases treatment uh, with the help of uh, enzymes such as RNAs I. After that, there is a library generation of this ribosomal footprint uh, will occur. And, and so, after the nucleases treatment, the protected mRNA is are been called as footprint. So, these are together called as ribosomal uh, ri uh, ribosome footprints. These ribosome footprints will then uh, ribosome footprints will then leads to library generation, or we will generate a library with the help of this lab. Uh, ribosome footprints then deep sequencing uh, those footprints with the help of RNA-seq uh, method one of the approaches RNA-seq and then read map to analyze this uh, genomic uh, sequencing position so what are the information that we get is uh, one of the important uh, information that we get is that we will be able to know where is the start codon and where is the stop codon in the genomic sequence uh, uh, from the samples or from this ribosome profiling simultaneously we will also be able to know the untranslated region uh, upstream and downstream of the uh, genomic sequence so let us now go through the usual uh, method and see uh, why we are not able to uh, get those advantages that we get in the ribosome profiling in the mrna seq the mrna that have been isolated are uh, then go for this random fragmentation random fragmentation in this uh, the, there is no uh, nucleus treatment occur so the there is no degradation of mrna occurs and after that the same thing happens with the library generation and deep sequencing and then read map we will get the full genomic sequence however we will not be able to identify at which position there is a start codon and which position there is a stop codon because all the untranslated region are also get sequenced uh, during this mRNA sequencing whereas in case of this ribosome profiling those untranslated region will get degraded with the during this nucleus treatment in this case we cannot do the nucleus treatment as mRNA all mRNAs are unprotected whereas in this case mRNAs are uh, protected with the help of uh, or through this uh, ribosome covering so let us understand the last panel that is panel C uh, that is in order to what are the additional information that we get uh, from this ribosome profiling. So another thing that uh, we get is that high percentage of the open reading frame covered or we can say the coding sequence are uh, covered coding sequence of the uh, gene has been uh, covered or are high in density in terms of read whereas non-coding sequence are very low in uh, terms of density so this can be shown here is that low density of footprint before the start codon and high density of footprint after the start codon and before the stop codon or we can say high inside to out ratio and if we see the zoom in view of uh, one of these read sequence we can get the evidence of the codon periodicity 
so this is basically because of the biasness of the codon that are available against the uh, uh, amino acid so because of this we will see uh, there is a periodicity or repeat repetition of the uh, codon same codon for the uh, particular amino acid so and this periodicity has been uh, also been proved uh, several times or through different approaches in the paper so i hope you have understood uh, some in depth information about this ribosomal profiling if you need to understand this ribosomal profiling in details in detail you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time